Hello everyone, welcome to week two deep dive where we're going to be doing the score counter as well as the player bubble and you'll know exactly what that means for your particular character because it's most likely not going to be a fish if you guys decided to pick a different theme for your game. Now to begin what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to create a brand new sprite. I'm going to rename this score counter and what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click on my text tool I'm going to find the font that I want to use and the color that I want to use and I suggest you use a color that's going to be very easy to be seen for your game so I'm going to go ahead and pick the dark color I'm going to go ahead and make this number one I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and put it in the center. Once I'm done that, I'm going to rename this number counter. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it just like that. I'm going to now duplicate this. So now it has number counter two. And I'm going to go ahead and change the number to a number two. I also just want to make sure that it's in the center still. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to continue repeating the same process until I'm done reaching the number nine. Okay. Now remember, uh, we've done many counters before. This is going to be a different way of doing it. Uh, you guys can also go ahead and play around with how you want the costume to look like as well. It doesn't have to be as dull as the one that I made. I'm only doing this just to show you guys uh, the work that you need to do. But you guys can always draw little things around it. Uh, since my theme is a forest, maybe I want to add some leaves to these numbers. Uh, little things like that to make it nice and fun that still fits my theme. So as I am wrapping up with the number 9, the last thing that I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it one last time. And I'm going to go ahead and name that one um, 0. So I'm going to make that 9, 0, and then I am all set. The next step is going to be creating the code for it, um, which will be on the next video.